What is it? It's happening again. Another premonition? Just like before. Only this time it's stronger. Uh, uh, Cherry. Listen, why don't you, uh, why don't you tell us what the premonition was about? Really, I don't want to talk about it anymore. Well, I just thought maybe it would help you if you just told us, you know, what it was. I don't think so. You know what? I don't know where they come from or why I'm having them, but I'm not going to waste another minute of my life thinking about them. But if they're still bothering you, then we need to talk Please. about... Please. I'm asking you to forget them. I don't want to be different from everyone else. I just want to be normal. Just as long as you know that nobody thinks any less of you for having these premonitions. We're all your friends here. We just want to help you. Listen to Dr. Russell, Charity. And I think Chad may be right. Telling us what you're seeing may help alleviate the fear. It's about Chad. <laughs> Me? And you too, Dr. Russell. And I think there might be other people involved. I don't know what's going to happen exactly. But I know a lot of things are going to come out. Things that nobody knows. And when they do, a lot of people's lives are going to be affected. Well, all I can say is... It is about damn time. I mean, I've been trying to find out things no one knows about me since I got to this town. This is not a joke, Chad. I didn't mean it as one. What's your problem, Doc? I just don't think this is getting us anywhere. Hey, you just said yourself, if Charity tries to tell us what her premonitions are about, well, then maybe we she... I think we were wrong to push Charity. I think maybe we should just forget about her premonitions and, and just let them go away by themselves. Well, I'm afraid that's not possible, Chad. I wasn't practicing obstetrics back then. Well, what kind of medicine were you practicing? <sighs> it's very warm in here. I'm going to turn on the thermostat if no one minds. I get the feeling that Dr. Russell is covering something up. Well, why would she do that? I don't know. I think your mind's just working overtime. It's starting to play tricks on you. Maybe. You know, I'm still feeling a little bit warm. I think I'm going to step outside and get a little air. Well, you will at least stay for dinner, Dr. Russell. I can heat up one of Aunt Grace's casseroles. Fine, that'd be lovely. My husband and Whitney are coming home for dinner anyway. And we get a charity. Y'all noticed that too, didn't you? What? How uptight Dr. Russell got when you mentioned your premonition had something to do with her. <sighs> Yo, guys, I think I'm gonna take a rain check. Oh, please, there's so much food. Uh, maybe another time when Dr. Russell ain't here. I think she'll enjoy her dinner better without me around, you know? Don't go, Chad. Be cool, Simone. I mean, I'm sure everyone would want you to stay. Yeah, I mean, stay. Don't just leave because of Simone's mom. My mom's still here? Um, yeah, she's outside getting some air. And that's what she said, anyway. What do you mean? I don't know. It seemed like her mind was far away, something like that. Right, Charity? It was my fault, probably, just for having another premonition. You had another premonition? My God, how awful. What was it about? Um, it was either about Chad or, or Dr. Russell or both. It was too fuzzy to make out, though. I've been trying to tell Charity that these premonitions she's been having will stop when she accepts that all the bad things are behind us. That you're safe and secure with us now. Okay, Charity's looking way too relaxed. We need to find that bird statue fast. <laughs> 